Good afternoon, my name is Councillor Julie Goodin for Hawkwell West Ward and I'm here as an agent for Hawkwell West. Good afternoon, my name is Jim Hall, I'm a candidate for Hawkwell West. Hello, I'm Roger Hurst, Police Fire and Crown Commissioner for Essex and I'm also up for election on May the 6th. Thank you very much for your time Roger today. I'd Good just like to ask, we've had a lot of residents that have been concerned around the antisocial behaviour happening around Clements Hall and in the Rochford area. Uh, I have followed these up with your local um, support officers and um, they have come back and they have increased patrols. What Good. I would like to know is what preventative measures can be brought in to um, prevent crime which is currently being seen locally and um, one of the ideas that I came as a suggestion to the community um, safety officers was um, around preparing bikes and making them road safe and getting young people engaged in those positive activities. Is there anything that is on the agenda for such work to be carried out locally here, please? Well, that, that's, a, that's such a good idea, Julie. And you know, getting young people involved in doing something positive is a really good way to stop antisocial behaviour. And of course, the other things that, that we could do more of uh, and get people to, to, to join up with are, for instance, the police cadets or the fire cadets. And both of those are really, really useful ways of getting people to do, uh, young people to realise there's something good that they can do for their community. I'd like to ask a question on special constables and PCSOs. Rochford is a fast expanding community and has been for a few years now. And can we have a, a, a recruitment drive to greatly increase the special constabulary, which are a relatively low cost asset, so we can see more officers on the streets? At the same time, um, the PCSOs have been in for a number of years now, and I think it needs restructuring, but they were a good asset for intelligence. And uh, is there any possibility that uh, a feasibility study could be done on that in regards to bringing something like that, uh, like those people look back onto the streets to mix with the community and gain asset for the full-time officers, gain information for the full-time officers? Well, thanks very much for your question, Jim. Uh, I think that the, the first thing, point to make is that the Special Constabulary has been a real, uh, really close to my heart uh, for the last few years, uh, and we've been doing our, our very best to, to bolster them and, and help them come forward. Not just well, the, the cost issue actually isn't really, isn't really the main issue. It's because they're such a vital part of the community and they really create that link between the local community and the police service. That, as you said, that flow of intelligence, that local knowledge really makes a difference. So if we can sponsor a special from the local community here, or more than one, that would be really good. We've, in, we've increased the number of specials uh, now to uh, over 500, more like 520, and that makes us the spe second largest special constabulary in the country after the London Metropolitan Police. So that's really exciting. In terms of um, other things that we can do locally, I have to say the focus right now is on getting more police constables to be on the street and on the on, on patrol. Um, so we've actually expanded by around 500 cops in the last five years. We've got another, if I'm re-elected, there'll be another 300 to come. We'll get the funding for that. And that's effectively doubled the size of your community policing team here. So they're the cops that you will see on the street. Thank you. Thank you.